so this is the note explaining problem set assessment. And this is actually what I want you to demonstrate at this session so that you can um, you can see how it works and uh, especially so that you can see the feedback that I leave as I grade. Uh, sometimes on those feedbacks, there are some things that I want you to uh, change to differently so that you avoid losing point on future upcoming problem set assessments. And, um, and finding that feedback is a little bit of a, a hassle. So I want you to demonstrate that so that when people have questions, I can point them to this video. So let me look at the agenda to make sure I didn't skip anything. Uh, late passes, yeah, okay, I think I'm here, yeah. So let me just, as a test student, just complete the assessment. Um, and then I'll go through these items. Uh, so let me go next. And I'm at the problem set assessment and it'll make me use late pass again, I have to. Um, and that's why you have 24 late passes, not 12, because um, if you're behind on the problem set, then you are behind on the set. So, all right, I'm here. Let me start and I'll just go through this. And yeah. And what I want you to highlight is this, um, which is that showing work is required. And sometimes, depending on the question you get, sometimes it might look like there isn't that much work. I do try to take out the trivial easy questions, but um, you know, there are some questions that are relatively easy. Um, even those, you do have to add work. Even if it's just a one sentence describing what you did, you have to add work. If there's no work, you will be losing. <laughs> so, and um, to, so, you know, this assessment is not time limited, obviously, no clock anywhere inside. And you can seek help. Uh, we do have uh, the Learning Resources Center. We do have physics tutors there who have take, uh, who have seen many of these questions. Um, so you, you can seek help. Uh, if you didn't already seek tutoring help while you're working through problem set, you can do it while you're looking at this one question. All of that is fine. Uh, the only thing that I do ask is, which is was part of your honor code, is that uh, what you submit here should be your work, not your tutor's work. Uh, but, uh, but, you know, seeking help is fine. So let me just do this question here. I'll uh, do this properly with all the requisite work. So it says speed of sound is measured to be this on a certain day. What is this measurement in kilometers per hour? Okay, it's a unique conversion question. And I think I have a video that demonstrates unique conversion. So if you need help on that, Watch that. Uh, if you took chemistry before this and you learned the unique conversion there, then that's great. That, that method works well. Uh, I do organize this a little bit differently than how you do that with the boxes, but it's basically the same mathematical procedure. I'm multiplying each time with one. So each factor I have here, I'm constructing them to be one. Same numerator, same denominator. So on the denominator, I want meters so that I can cancel out meters. On the numerator, I want kilometers so that I can do the kilometers. And I construct this so that the numerator, let's say one kilometer, is same as the denominator, 1,000 meter. These two are equal. Physically, they are equal quantities. So this ratio is one. So each time I multiply by one, I'm not changing anything. That's how this unit conversion works. So let me convert seconds to hour. Um, one hour is, I happen to have this number memorized, 3,600 seconds. Hey, um, I don't think I can do this in my head. Uh, can I? No, I can't. Let me just use calculator. <laughs> oh, so I have my calculator here. Let me just put this over here. Okay. 352 divided by 1,000 times 3,600. Um, really? Wow, that seems pretty high. Uh, I guess that's right. Okay, 1,267 kilometers per hour. And uh, with the significant figures, by the way, um, most of the questions, if you keep three to four significant figures, you should be fine. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah, submit it then. And I think when you submit, uh, you should... Uh, well, let's see. Let's say, imagine um, um, you didn't attach anything here. Uh, you know, you I recommend that you do, but let's say you didn't. 
then um, yeah, problem assessment has been submitted and you should still be able to review it. And I think as you're reviewing it, you should see a score. Um, I think there's no way for me to block that. And the score you see here, it's tentative. Um, it might say five out of five, but let's say I never attached any work. Then uh, as I'm grading it, I'm gonna take off some point because I need, want to see work, I need to see work. Um, on the other hand, sometimes people make minor mistakes and lose points. And uh, when that happens, as I manually grade it, I, if uh, I can see, especially in connection with your work, I can see that it was a minor mistake, your understanding of physics was solid, and I often give full credit, uh, even when the system didn't give you full credit. So let me do this. I'm going to get a screenshot <laughs> that I can attach as work. So let me just get a screenshot here. I mean, and how you attach your work, it's, uh, so, you know, I have this input device thing that makes it easy for me to write on screen. That's how I'm doing it. Um, you can just definitely just do it on paper, take a picture of it and upload that picture. Um, however you attach your work, that's fine. Um, so let me find a way to attach it. I don't see it on this screen. Let me just refresh. And I think I'll see a screen where yeah, add work. You can always add work. So let's say you got it wrong somehow, and then you kept working on it and you figured out what you got wrong. Then you can reflect what you understood in your work shown here. That's totally fine. Um, again, this is not really time limited. And uh, this is all set up so that I have a place where I can um, uh, review, your, uh, review your work, review your written work so that um, because uh, I think I said this in the note on the previous page, that uh, one major problem with the algorithmic grading is that sometimes people get a question right uh, without fully understanding the thing. And when I see the work, I can get a better sense of how well you understood it for the one question that we are using for check, uh, spot, check, uh, spot checking. <laughs> so, um, all right. Uh, and you know, I can always review work. Now, as you review work, um, if you don't see any comments from me, then that means it hasn't been manually graded yet. So I guess one of the important things, that means this score is still tentative. Um, once I have graded, you will see a, um, you will see a, a feedback or a note from me. So let me go to my instructor view so that I can grade test student here. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this portion off screen so that I can navigate to the test student stuff without showing everyone's grade. Uh, grade list, just navigate to test student here. Okay, so okay, so this, uh, by the way, when I grade, I usually try to look at question by question, but this time I have one student here, so I'm just gonna look at this. So I see uh, a lot of this information should seem similar to uh, what you see on your screen. Instructor View just gets a couple additional things. Um, yeah, anyway, so I see uh, this is usually helpful because then I can see uh, without doing the calculation myself that you got the numerical answer correct. And I review the work and I can see that, oh yeah, that seems right. So I say, oh, there's parentheses. But you know, those minor type uh, typographical thing, it's fine. But I'll say, okay, looks great, uh, test. Um, so, oh, when I save change, it'll uh, kick me out to the grader list. So I'm gonna do the saving change off screen. Um, let me do that by clicking on save change. Oh, wait, wait, it didn't. So, okay, so it's, oh, sorry, it's saved here. All right, so I left the feedback for test student um, and it's, a, it's been manually graded. This is the, should it be the final score? So for those of you who uh, have done this, Oh, done this assessment last night. So earlier today I was grading this. So as I was grading it, you might have gotten a graded notification, um, especially if uh, in the process of me manually grading it, if I changed any score, then I think you get a graded notification from Canvas. Uh, when you get the notification, then you can come to this screen and you can click on review work. And that's the steps you need to go through to look at the feedback on the uh, problem set assessments. And scroll down, you should see some kind of feedback down here. 
And when you see that, that means I've created it, it um, with uh, you know viewing your work and everything. So whatever score you see at that point is the final score. Until something comes up. <laughs> and um, yeah, now depending on what happened in the process of the manual grading, this is actually quite common where uh, people get a five out of five. And as I'm reviewing your work, as I'm viewing your work, everything looks fine. There's nothing to change. In fact, uh, when I was grading tests to student, I didn't change any of the scores. I think in those scenarios, you don't get a notification from Canvas that, um, that, uh, that this item was graded. So in those cases, you kind of have to um, remember for yourself that at some point to, to come here, uh, go click through this uh, problem set one assessment from the modules view, not from Gradebook, um, from here, come here and click on this to be able to see my feedback. Uh, what I would recommend is do that before you do your next problem set. Um, in the ideal scenario where I've graded the previous problem set in time before you are attempting your next problem set assessment so that you can take a look at the feedback. If there was anything I was saying, please correct this so that you can correct it on your next assessment. Um, so if you go through the grade book, it'll show you something super confusing. So when I go through grade book and when I click on this, it just shows me this screen, which basically does nothing. You know, this is an issue with the LTI and uh, this particular view in Canvas. When you are here, you can click on this to get to the same page that you can get to through modules view. And from there, click on this link, please review working grade above. That's where the feedback for this uh, problem set assessment will be. 